Hi, I'm Liz, and I'm here to give you a full walkthrough of the Fluencer Fruit Chrome extension. So first, I want to tell you the Chrome extension was developed specifically for Amazon influencers. And the goal of the extension is to help you make your product research more efficient, to streamline it, to make it faster so that you can make more money, and also to help you with video placement management. So let's jump in. I'll show you all the places that the tool works and how it can help you. So I like to start with the anatomy of a product page. So the reason I do this is just to make sure that we're all on the same page when we discuss um, different terminologies, different carousels, what the seller controls and what we control. So let's start with the upper carousel here. This is the main image carousel. And this has seven available spaces. And this content is controlled by the seller for this product listing. Now, if the seller uploads a product video, then they open or unlock the upper video carousel, which is what we're looking at now. So this upper carousel has six available spaces that are available for the brand and also for the Amazon influencer. So one of those always has to be the brand. So if they have one video, then that leaves five for influencers. If they have two videos, that leaves us four and so on and so forth. And hypothetically, the seller could upload six videos and take over the entire upper video carousel. We don't see that often, but it does sometimes happen. Now, when you're looking at this, videos for this product is the seller's videos specifically for this product listing. In the upper carousel, related videos here is going to be Amazon influencer videos specifically for this listing. Now, on some listings, you'll also see customer review videos. Those are being tested underneath seller, influencer, and then customer videos, but they don't impact that six spots that are available for the seller and the influencer. Now, so this is the main image carousel. The upper video carousel pops up. If you scroll down to about the middle of the page, we're going to come across the other video carousel. Now, people call this the lower carousel, the middle carousel. There's only one other carousel. So there's the upper and the lower or the top and the middle, however you want to state them. In this lower carousel, we have videos. We're going to have videos for this product. Now in this section, you're going to have the influencers, the sellers and the customers all kind of like jumbled together, right? And then when you switch over and you have videos for related products, those truly are videos for other products that are not this product listing. So just calling that out because it's a little bit confusing when they name it similar but different things in different the two places on the page but they mean basically this different things in different places so those are the carousels so the next thing i want to talk about we're, while we're on the product listing page is the banana score so it's the score that you'll see next to the banana wherever you see the tool surfacing and the banana score is simply a weighted score that takes into account the factors on the product listing page and how much they impact how your video as an influencer performs on that page, right? It's basically grading potential for the listing as a whole. So the things that are included in this score are, does it have an upper video carousel, right? Because not every listing does. And the thing that I can tell you is mathematically, my videos that are in an upper carousel do eight times better than being on a listing that doesn't have an upper carousel available, right? The other things that are included in the score are how many open video slots are in that upper carousel. More open slots means a better chance for me to be able to get there, more views, right? More people seeing my content. And then the other thing is how many influencers are on this listing. So on this listing, the two at the top are the two that are counted for, but this number does include both influencers in the upper carousel and the lower carousel, and it removes any duplicates. Now, the other thing that is included in the score is the rating. So you'll see this one is a 4.4. And mathematically, I can tell you around a 4.4, it starts to positively impact the way that your video performs. And what's the reason for that, right? Just we know as shoppers, because we all shop on Amazon too, you get too much lower than a 4.4, you get down to a 3.9 and you start to question the quality as a shopper. And so you probably, they just get fewer views, right? So mathematically around that 4.4 mark, you're going to see an increase in how well videos do on that listing as opposed to something that has a 3.9. 
And the other two things that are included are the price, right? Because obviously the higher the price, the better the commissions and the commission percentage. Now, the commission percentage I'm going to call out because it is listed here in the Fluencer Fruit tool. And a lot of times we see people talking about what is actually the best seller rating category. So over here we have BSR, best seller rating. And this product specifically is in home and kitchen. Now, if you look at the on-site payable commission table that Amazon publishes, you'll see that there is not a home and kitchen category. There is a home category and there is a kitchen category, but they both have different payouts, different percentages, right? So what we do at Fluencer Fruit is we match the category that it is payable to in the back end and pull that forward. So obviously, if there is a product that is in um, baby or miscategorized and it shows up in a 2% category, I would rather have a bookshelf in this case that is categorized as furniture with 4%, right? So those are all things that are included. The one call out that I'll say is not currently included in the score is how many ratings. So this is a question that I get from time to time. And the reason is that there are a number of other factors that influence or impact whether a number of ratings is good or bad, right? So a hundred ratings on a product that has been around for two months is great, but a hundred ratings on a product that has been around for seven years is not great. And sometimes we get into has that um, listing changed over time, or is it still the same listing, right? You have different things that happen on the back end of Amazon. So I just left that out because mathematically I could not attach that to how well our videos do. So that's what's included in the Fruity score. And you'll see this is the tool at the top of a product listing page. So you can see all of this no matter where you're at. Is it low in stock? How long has it been available are some of the other things. And if you are also an affiliate and interested in knowing how much the affiliate commission is for a particular product, that is included here as well. Now, I want to show you the real like kind of core usage of where I designed this tool for, which is your search results page, right? So I'm going to start on the search results page here and go through what is included in the embed card, no matter where it pops up, right? So you're going to see that there's always the banana score at the top. Around a 70 is where I know that there are enough positive factors on that product listing that set my video up for success. Now, when you're thinking about is a 70 like the decision end all be all? No, that's not what it's intended for. The 70 is to be directional. It's intended to tell you there's enough there on that page that it's worth looking into. And really what it's doing is telling you that that product that's a 30, that's a 50, just keep going, find a better product listing, right? We're just trying to make this faster without you having to click in and out of every product listing, right? I built this because I was tired of clicking in and out of every product listing and trying to remember which one had all of the factors, right? So at the top, you're going to see the banana score. Now, I will quickly call out that if you, for example, are not worried about affiliate commission, you can actually remove and customize any of this so that it takes up less real estate on your search results page. So then we have the ASIN and you can always copy that from there. And then it's going to tell you if it has that upper video carousel, right? Green check for yes, red X for no. Um, are there open carousel slots? So this listing has two open carousel slots, which if we click into this listing, then we would see there are four videos in that upper video carousel, right? Now, there are four influencer videos already on this product listing. What that tells me is since there are four influencers already on there and two available spaces, that not every influencer is in that upper carousel. So is it low in stock? Green is no, we don't want things that are low in stock. Now there are different philosophies around there, but I'm just going to throw that out with all of the supply chain issues we have had in the last couple of years. I personally try and stay away from products that might run out of stock sometime soon, right? You're going to have your influencer commission percentage as well as how much that makes you from the price based on the percentage. Affiliate commission percentage, it is usually 2x influencer commission, right? But not always. And there is a slightly different offsite table. So that takes this into account as well. 
And then we're going to have BSR. Now this is bestseller rank. And again, this is not necessarily attached to your commission category, but it does give you an idea of how well it's ranking in the category that it's in. Is it sponsored? So this is going to tell you if they are currently sponsored on this page. It's not going to tell you if they have money anywhere that they're paying for PPC on Amazon, but it is going to tell you if they're sponsored here. And the reason that I like sponsored content is that means that the seller is driving traffic to that product listing. They're more likely to be an engaged seller, growing their brand, trying to constantly increase their sales. So I like that, even if they're not always sponsored when I come to this page, right? Because that's not how it works. But I like to see that a seller is engaged in the process and trying to grow that product listing. And then the last thing on here is going to be first available date. And I include that again for the same reason. If I know that this product has been here since 2022, they have a 4.5 and 262 reviews, then I can tell, all right, that's probably for launching on Amazon in this day and age, probably a decent amount. And then I look over at this one and they've got 337 and they've been around a little bit less than them. So maybe it's not as great as I thought it was, right? So you can start to pull all of your information together in one location. So my goal is always for you to not have to click in and out of every listing. Now you can scroll the search results page and that's totally fine. The other thing you can do is come up here to the top to where the banana icon is, and it's going to pull all of the information on this search page up into the drop down. Now, if you're like me, the things that I really care about are how much influencer commission is this going to make me? And then I want to know, is there a video in the carousel? Are there open slots and how many other influencers are on there, right? So I'm going to sort by amount of influencer commission. So, okay, this one over here is going to be 1580 for every time I sell one. Now it's going to be a higher price point. So if I'm buying specifically to review, that might be okay. If I'm buying for my house, that might not be what I'm looking for. I'm going to take all of that into consideration, but I'm going to know what the product listing looks like from here. So I'm going to know this is what the commission is. Yes, they have an upper carousel with open slots in it and there are no other influencers on it, right? So I start to be able to pull all of this together easily wherever I'm at. So you can move all of this around. If you don't care about product name, you can actually just click it off, right? You just remove the carousel. If you don't care about affiliate commission percentages, whatever the case is, you can pull that off. When we come back up here, if you want to look at a product listing, you can actually click into it and it's going to bring up the product listing in a separate tab. And then if you click back, this is still open. So it's holding your place. You didn't lose anything by clicking that other one open. Now, where are some of the other places that we've been able to add Fluencer Fruit cards into the bestseller page? Super excited about this, right? Because you can immediately tell if there are any needles in the haystack, right? Um, clothing shoes, they do not have upper carousels. So when you come here, I expect that all of these are going to have a red X and that's okay. If I'm looking at clothing and shoes, the things that I'm looking at is how many other influencers are on this page, right? There's never going to be an open carousel because there isn't one. So this is all going to be middle and lower carousel stuff down here, but you can scroll down and see, like, maybe there are some bestseller products that are not quite as competitive as the other ones, that would be a good opportunity for you to create high quality, competitive shoppable videos for. Now, let's look at the next thing, right? If you're looking into subcategories, this is also going to show up here. And again, on any one of these pages, you can click on the banana icon up top, and it's going to pull all of the information up to the top for you to look at and evaluate. Similar on the product listing page, I forgot this, but just to show you, if you want to look through the relateds down below, you don't have to scroll. It'll pull that up too. So we've got bestseller page. We've got subcategories. We've also got idea lists. So if you are either putting together lists for your offsite audience, or you are collecting idea lists to help keep track of products that you would like to create shoppable content for, you can come over here and see all of the information about those listings as well. And again, the banana icon works here too. Now, 
Something that I am super excited about that we just added is video placement management. So if you go to your storefront logged in, you go to manage videos, it's going to bring you to Creator Hub, which is what I have up. And on Creator Hub, you have all of the videos that you've created, right? Now, before a lot of us were doing manual audits and it's incredibly time consuming and almost impossible to keep up with, right? Because you're trying to keep up with placements for each individual shoppable video that you've done. So you would click into your video, click into the product, click into the carousels and see if you had placement on any of those. Then if you wanted to keep track of it, you had to record it somewhere, right? So what we've done is created an extra column in Creator Hub for you. And this just shows you where your videos are placed. So for example, you can see that my first video here is in an upper carousel. That's exciting. And then the next couple here are in a lower carousel. Well, I know that they're clothing, so there's not an upper carousel. So I'm excited about a lower carousel placement, right? And you can just kind of look down and quickly see which ones of your videos are placed and which ones are not. So if I just wanted to see which ones are in top placements, I can filter this page by clicking on top up here, and it's only going to show me upper carousel placements, right? Now, if I want to see just the ones that are middle or lower, I can do that as well. But let's be honest, we all want to know which one of our videos does not have placement right now because darn it, we want it to be placed and we want to see if it's lost placement. And so I have to admit that this one is really sad for me. This is my best performing video. So coming here today to do the demo and finding out that I'm not currently placed on this one was a little disheartening. So I'll have to take a look at that and see if it's time to refresh my content for that listing, right? But you can see how much easier this makes it. You don't have to click in and out of every product listing to find all of this information. Again, my goal is to make this as easy as possible in as many places as possible on Amazon while you are working in your Amazon influencer business. So that is the end of our tour today. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you will consider subscribing Click on that bell so that you get a notification anytime I update videos for both the tools, Amazon Influencer, and also the Amazon ecosystem in general. And if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them. Please drop them in the comments down below. And I look forward to chatting with you. I hope that helps.